Here's a quick tour of the aquaponics system. The big box is the fish tank with insulation around it to keep it from getting too hot in the summer, too cold in the winter. There are the beds. The blue drum has nothing to do with it. That's for biodiesel. There's the top of the fish tank. The two sets of sprayers that bring the water back in from the sump tank and also create aeration. There are about 30 goldfish in here right now, but they're all hiding. The water comes out of the tank there through this manifold where I have individual valves on each bed. You can see that bed is off right now. There are some lettuces and some kiwi plants that I'm getting to root. That bed's off. There's more kiwis and a lettuce and more, and this bed is off. That's the sump tank. There are two pumps in it. So the green hoses are the lines coming out of the pumps. All that water coming out there is the overflow from the tank. The big pipe is the discharge from the flood and drain beds. The small pipe on top is the overflow in case the flood and drain beds get too high. And then the smaller pipe on the bottom is the overflow from the raft beds. These are the two raft beds. Water just flows into them at a steady rate. There are the lettuces. They're smaller because I just harvested some for salad. And there's the root. These plants started really small. Basically a lot smaller than that one. I just grow them in little seed trays and I separate them out into individual plants and put them in the cups. We got some good roots in there. The air pump is underneath and it lines going up into the two raft beds with air stones. And then on the other side, it's just a drain line. I have to keep an eye on that to make sure the roots don't grow into it, clog it up. And over here are the bell siphons. Let's see if we have one that's close to starting. Not there. This one's actually going right now. You can see all the water coming out of the discharge. That's the bell siphon. So right now this one is in a drain cycle. The water is draining out and then as soon as the siphon breaks, we'll see if we can hear it. See that? There it goes. Sounds like a toilet flushing. And then, when, then the water stops. And it starts filling back up. <clears throat> and those wires are, wires are made to clean out little clogs in the sprayers. This box became necessary when I realized that the water in the tank in the summer was getting up to be about 95 degrees. So that's it, a tour of 